Hello everyone, so I joined the Duels of Frontera tournament and basically you have to play 9 Swiss rounds each one is best of 3 then you qualify to top 16 if you do well on the first day we play 6 rounds which I've played and I have a mean migraine right now recording this I won my first 5 rounds but sadly I lost the last one I had a lot of server issues, the server went down for a lot of players and basically I had to play on mobile, I was really annoyed, I wasn't focusing at the game at all. But luckily we were playing against Presto, and he was really cool about it, because technically he could have taken a free win. I was late 10 minutes, but he just played the game, which was cool. So I'll showcase one of the games I have played. I wanted to show Presto's game, but I was on mobile and I couldn't record. I've been playing Ash and Sejuani in this tournament and i want to show this deck it's really fun it's really good right now so without further ado here we go also i'll add the code for this deck in the description if you want to try it out we are going up against endure so i don't want my four drop right now and i don't want my five one because it dies so easily to vile feast i don't want to keep it Now we have it as 6 2, but I don't want to play it right now. I pull the strings. I'll just pass. I can kill Elise with my calling strike. Even though it's better to save my calling strike. For who they endure, like thinking about it now, I probably should have saved it, but I think at the time while I'm playing this game, I think I just wanted to rush him as much as like as fast as I can before he can play who they endure safely and have atrocity with him. I probably should have just saved the card and killed the list later using other methods. Like my 6 2, I could have killed her with that. My Ash is 6 4 right now, it's really hard for him to kill her. I don't think he runs Grasp in his deck, if I remember correctly. He might he has vengeance but he doesn't have enough mana to play it i'll attack with these this is frozen so we can kill it without losing any units and this one one can pretty much kill my ash since a lot of ionia cards and demacia cards were nerfed this deck is really good now. It used to be tier 3 I think before the new patch came out and now all of a sudden it's really good deck and a lot of players are running it in the tournament. Like what I'm thinking here is even if I attack next round with Ash, he's gonna block it with his 1-1 one -one anyways. So might as well just block it now. But unluckily he had his vengeance. So I took a lot of damage to the face. Play this card, buff everything in our deck. Play this and we draw a unit from it, a buffed unit. It's 
So right now what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna freeze his 4-3, kill it with his, with a 6-2. I want the 6-2 won't die. And I'll attack with a 5-5 five five in the hopes that I try to take at least one unit with me. So when we're in defense, it would be much easier for me. And I take less damage. He blocked with his 1-1, one, one, which is obviously he's gonna do. I drew a really good card to get cards from. Basically, every unit I have that has 5 plus attack damage, when I play that guard, I get a card from my deck from it for every one I have and since she's buffed I get a card also from her so if I were to play her right now I'd get three cards but it's, I might lose units here here I'm just looking for the best way to block without losing units and I'm kind of considering calling strike but at the same time I don't want to waste it and want to keep it for uh, who they endure and it's pretty much my win condition as well. If I'm capable of taking who they endure out of the game, uh, I can go really offensive on him and punish him. We drew three cards and they're good cards. We can play uh, the three drop here. And we get a yeti in our deck. Well, Feast, he's pretty much trying to get as much blockers as he can right now. I need to clear the board. Okay, he played who they endure. I have uh, a freeze for him, ready. I could play Sejuani, but this is better. Because I can use Calling Strike with it. Now he can't use Atrocity on it, it's zero damage. It's basically useless. Okay, he's getting a lot of blockers, so this is an issue. So here I messed up. I should have waited until his spiders went through, then used my calling strike. Should have been better. Because, for, because now he got an extra spider, so I must stop here. I could have managed to deal 3 damage to his face. With this kind of deck, any damage to face is worth a lot because once you lose board control, you probably you pretty much lost the game. Come, come. So right now, he could have another who they endure. I can't just blindly play my cards. I need to save enough mana for my Sejuani so I can freeze him in case he plays who they endure. So I'm just waiting to see what he plays. If he passes, I'll, I'll just pass. Also, his deck doesn't run runitation, so I'm safe. I know I can fill the board safely. Okay, we play this. Buff everything in our deck. Alright, we play our one drop. See what he plays. Alright. We'll just open attack here. Clear as much of the board as we can. Come, stay a while. 
Okay, now we're chipping in some damage. We should technically win the game next round. When we run attack. Pass. He didn't play who they endure. But he drew it now, I think. Alright, so we can't have this card hitting us. We're gonna freeze it with the Sejuani. That's why we saved the Sejuani. Usually you want to just play Sejuani and start doing more damage to his Nexus. But against who they endure, Sejuani is a key card to countering his uh, who they endure. Now here I didn't use Reconing. Now looking at my play here, I should have used Reconing. I don't know why I didn't use it. I should have just used I would have killed who they endure. Uh, if he has uh, atrocity, I just countered it. I don't know why I didn't do that. I pretty much would have only lost my 3 2 and my 4 2, which really doesn't mean much. But we were so lucky, we drew, we top decked harsh winds. This was a mistake from my side. I don't know what happened to me when I was playing it, and I didn't block it. Hopefully, I don't make these kind of mistakes. In the next games because i could have lost it here he has atrocity in his hand and luckily i had harsh winds i actually top decked harsh winds so i was so lucky here i don't think like just looking at it right now i didn't actually notice it while playing i don't know why but looking at it right now uh i don't deserve this one i'm actually upset i made this kind of mistake because winning this game i wanted just on pure luck that's why i won this game if i didn't top deck the harsh winds i would have lost but yeah i'll try not to make these kind of really simple mistakes that i shouldn't be doing honestly anyways hope you like the video and the deck is really cool uh, i'm really enjoying it i'll add the code in the description have a great day and goodbye